Assalamu alaikum. My beloved students, how are you all? Hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Alhamdulillah, I am also fine by the kindness of Allah the Exalted. Welcome to NIEVS Home School. This is Wahid Noor, Assistant Teacher of Islamic Studies, National Ideal English Version School, Day Shift. Today, I am going to conduct the class of Islamic Studies for class 6. And today our topic is discussion about assignment 1, lecture number 33. My beloved students, already you informed about the assignment. Last week you have done three subjects of assignment. This week you are doing the another three subjects assignment. So among their religion has. So assignment of religion assignment number one we will discuss and i will give you some clue some points how you will write and uh, where from you will get the answer mainly so let's start so assignment will be from chapter one and the assign assigned task is short question answer i mean your topic is short question answer so question number one is what is meant by al asma ul husna this is the first question. So answer you will get in your textbook chapter 1 lesson 5 which is related to the Al Asma Ul Husna. So you can write in your assignment the definition of Al Asma Ul Husna, the word meaning, the Allah's speech with meaning etc. My dear students, Al Asma Ul Husna, there are two words Al Asma and Al Husna. So what is that two words meaning? You can write that, you can write the specific, the definition, you can write there in your book, lesson 5, there is the Arabic word, I mean Allah's speech, you can add also that, walillahi asma ul husna fadu'uhu biha, you can write in Arabic or in English pronunciation, both are correct, but you should write the meaning also. And if you want to add the from yourself the another things, you can, there is no problem. Okay, now question number two, write the five attributive names of Almighty Allah with meaning. It's very easy, already you learned this in your previous class, class five. So same question, you got another uh, second time. So in your textbook, chapter one, Again, lesson 5, Al Asma Ul Husna lesson, you will get this answer. So, Allah's attributive names can write in Arabic or in English or both way. So, how that way will be? That is, you can write Allahu Malikun. Only you can write this word or only you can write the Arabic or both you can write Allahu Malikun and the pronunciation. Uh, the, uh, uh, pronunciation and also you must be write the meaning. My beloved students, don't forget to writing the meaning. So, in your book, lesson 5, chapter 1, there are four titles about the Allah's attributive names. But another one, you can write from yourself or you learned in the previous class, class 5. For example, Allahu Basirun, Allahu Sami'un, Allahu Gafurun, Allahu Qadirun. So, whatever you know, that will be related to the Allah's attributive names. And you know, there are 99 attributes name of Almighty Allah. So what you know, you can write there in Arabic or in English, but you must be write the meaning. Don't forget it. And another uh, students keep remember, when you will write the attributive names of Almighty Allah, you just add minimum two sentences about that topic. I mean, for example, you written, about the Allahu Karimun. So what is the meaning of Karimun? And then two sentences at least related to the Karimun, you just add there, then it will be better. Well, now question number three, how can you be attributed by Allah's virtues? Students, keep attention here, this question, how can you be attributed by Allah's virtues? So answer in your textbook, chapter 1, lesson 5, Al Asma Ul Husna. So you can add there Allah's speech. Already you learned this Arabic in your previous class, class 5. After that, I written here 
and I written in Arabic takhallaqu bi akhlaqillah I written in the pronunciation takhallaqu bi akhlaqillah and meaning also build character on the model of Allah's character this is the Allah's speech and another this is not in your previous book or the present uh, book I collected this Arabic if you write this one that will be better that is Shibgatallah Oman Ahsanu Minallahi Shibga. I retain the pronunciation and meaning also. We accept Allah's color and who is more beautiful in color than Allah. So here is saying about, about coloring ourselves the Allah's attributes. How? For example, Allah's one attributive name is Allahu Gafurun. It means Allah is the forgiver. Many of the times, uh, if I say 24 times uh, ups and down, uh, all the minutes we are doing the bad deeds, sinner activities, we are involving, we are uh, doing by hands, we are thinking the bad, we are seeing the bad things. So full of the time we are involved in the sinner activities. After that, when we are secretly raising our hand to the Almighty Allah and seeking the forgiveness to the Almighty Allah, then Allah is forgiving us. So same as this is the Allah's attributes, same as did these attributes should achieve to ourselves. So if anyone uh, mistake with you or if any person misbehave with you or if anyone falls with you, then by remembering the Allah's attributes, you should forgive them. Don't take the revenge. And another is Allahu Karimun. Allah is the generous. Allah is the merciful. So by these attributes, we can achieve in ourselves because Allah is uh, um, uh, showing the mercy. Allah is showing the generous to the all human beings. Allah is not different, making the differentiate. Making uh, Allah is not choosing choosing who is the non-Muslim, who is the Hindu or Christian. No, Allah is not choosing like that. Allah is giving upon all the human beings all kinds of merciness, the uh, generous. So sometimes we can show our generous to the others human beings, to the bigger, to the poor, to the needy, to the wants people. Like that we can show our generosity. So like that you have to write yourself from yourself you can if you should arrange then you will get the better marks okay last number question number four is the world is the cornfield of the life hereafter explain it so my dear students uh, you will get this answer chapter one lesson seven akhirat related lesson so in arabic it's called ad dunya mazraatul akhira but no need to write it because there is no Arabic in your book or in the question. So I am just telling you the Arabic is ad dunya masraatul akhira. It means the the uh, world is world is the corn field of the life hereafter. What does it mean? It means, for example, those are the farmer. They are uh, growing. They are uh, cultivating the paddy. And they are doing the a lot of extreme hard working for growing that paddy. They are sometimes they are uh, in the uh, um, in the rainy season they are doing that, or in the um, sunshine they are um, rearing their paddy. And after three or four months they are getting their good results or bad results. How they are getting the bad results? For example, those farmer they are not rearing their paddy they are idleness they are laziness uh, they are um, uh, sleeping or moving here and there they are not observing their um, uh, paddy so after three or four months they will not get the uh, pure paddy and they will involve in the hungry situation in the needy situation on the other hand those farmer they are uh, observing th those are rearing the paddy and after three or four months they will get the good result and they will be happy and they will their livelihood very happily so same as almighty allah created the human beings only for worship the almighty allah if we waste our time without uh, abiding the almighty allah without loyaling the almighty allah then in the day of kiamat after death we will not get the correct result 
we will face the sorrowful situation. We will face the punishable and describable situation in the Akhirat. So same as like the farmer. So it was the similarity uh, in the Arabic in the sentence said that the uh, world is like a cornfield like, um, uh, like after uh, life hereafter. So I hope you understood and that's all for today my dear students and this is the lecture number 33. And students, I will advise you when you will do your uh, assignment, at first uh, you can uh, make a margin, you can draw the margin and you must be write the question. And for writing the question, you can use the another sign pen. But sign pen, don't use the red pen or related to the red pen, don't use that. You can write the blue pen or the um, uh, or the another color of pen for writing the question and after finishing one uh, question answer you can uh, underline that or uh, you can um, make uh, you can draw yourself whatever you think so i mean i want to say decoration should be good then the teacher will be happy and you will get the better marks that's all for today my dear students and write the page number if there is uh, many of the pages and minimum half pages you will write for one answer or uh, it can be one page or uh, um, uh, more than one page also there is no problem so that's all for today my dear students uh, keep practicing at home and to abide by your parents see you next class inshallah till then assalamu alaikum